This video contains two examples of indices equations, also called exponential equations, from the Leaving Cert Higher Level course. Okay, here in example one, we're to solve these two equations. The method we use is we try to write each side of the equation with the same base number. In example one, we should notice that the numbers 8 and 16 can be both written as powers of 2. So if we write out the powers of 2, like 2 to the power of 2 is 4 to the power of 3 is 8, and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So we could rewrite 8 and 16 using these powers of 2. So instead of 8, we write 2 to the 3, multiply by x, or to the power of x. Instead of 16, we write 2 to the 4 and this is all to the power of one-third. Now using the rules of indices, um, we, we could rewrite the left-hand side as 2 to the minus 3x. We multiply out the right-hand side and it's 2, um, 4 over 3. And, and these must be equal, these two powers. So in other words, minus 3x must be equal to 4 over 3. To solve this equation, we divide both sides by minus 3 and this gives me minus 4 over 9 is the answer. Okay, in example 2, again, the idea is the same. We could write these as, as using the base number 3. In other words, 3 squared is 9, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So instead of 27, we, we write 3 to the power of 3, and that's all to the power of x minus 3. And instead of uh, 9, we'd write 3 to the power of 3, and that's the power of x minus 2. Now we multiply out the powers on the left hand side we get 3 to the power of 3x minus 9. Now 3 by 3 to the power of 3 that's 3 to the power of 4. We add the 1 plus 3 and this is all to the power of x minus 2. Now multiply out the right hand side and we get 3 to the 4x minus 8 and this must be equal to 3x minus 9. So there's my simple equation that 3x minus 9 is equal to 4x minus 8. Now we're going to take 3x from both sides and add 9 to both sides and that will give us that minus 1 is equal to x. And here we have the second example. In the first part of this we've been asked to rewrite if y equals 3 to the power of x uh, well, 3 to the power of 2x, what's that in terms of y? Well, 3 to the power of 2x, well, that's 3 to the power of x squared, so that must be y squared. That's the simple answer to part 1. In part 2, now, it does say hence, so we must use this fact uh, to solve the equation. And just to cl clarify that 4.3 means 4 multiplied by 3x. So we're going to let y equal 3 to the power of x, so we're going to, instead of 3 to the power of 2x, well that's y squared, that's in the first part, and then we have minus 4 times y plus 3 equals 0. So we solve this quadratic equation in the normal way. And this gives us that y would be equal to 1, or y would be equal to 3. Now this is not the answer to the question though, because we really want to know what x is, not what y is. And we know from the start that y is equal to 3 to the power of x. So using the first answer, 1 equals 3 to the power of x. Well, 3 to the power of 0 is 1. So therefore, x in this example must be equal to 0. And the other answer we have is 3. If 3 is equal to 3 to the power of x, well, we know that 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, in this example, x must equal to 1. And that's the solution.